Nobody is ever excited to eat vegetables, but give me 10 minutes to show you why this will be your new and favorite way to eat cauliflower going forth. This roasted cauliflower pairs well with every entree and protein. It only takes a few ingredients to make, but has big flavor. I promise you I'm about to change the way you view this vegetable. I got a promise to keep, so let's get to work. One of the keys to this coming out amazing is getting great texture on the cauliflower. Everybody has had steamed or boiled veggies and it's just not it. So grab a sheet tray. I got a big sheet tray and we're gonna throw this in the oven and turn the oven onto 450 to preheat. So this sheet tray is gonna get nice and hot. This is a head of cauliflower for those people that don't eat vegetables. This is what it looks like. It looks just like broccoli, but white. While our oven is preheating, we're gonna go ahead and just take care of this. And we're gonna cut these into individual florets. I like to just take all this stuff off of it first. Once you got all the leaves off, I just cut it right down the side of it and it makes a mess. So this part will get really messy. And you wanna cut these into individual size florets, but you wanna make sure you have flat edges so they can sit on the sheet tray and get some good color on it. So I'll just cut them in half. And once you have like a flat piece like so, just toss it into a bowl and then knock out all your cauliflower. And then I'll see y'all at the next step. This is the most tedious part of cooking that nobody talks about is doing all the prep work. So usually, if I know I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna prep it ahead of time so I just gotta throw it in the other way for the sheet tray to heat up. After you have all your cauliflower cut up, I really wanna emphasize, make sure you have a flat side so you can put them on the sheet tray, but clean your work surface and then we'll get ready to season. Seasoning begins with oil. And you need a good amount because this is really going to encourage browning. I'm using about a quarter cup and like always guys, I'll put the recipe down in the comments below. So don't worry about writing anything down. And then since this is a very bland vegetable, you need a good pinch of salt. Pepper to finish it off, smoked paprika. Add some good color to it. And then you just want to mix this up so all the pieces are evenly coated. Make sure all those pieces have a little bit of oil on them. That seed is really sticking to them. And by now your sheet tray in the oven should be up to 450. But I like to kind of let it sit in there for like an additional 10 to 15 minutes just to really get hot. Cause I want to put it on the sheet tray and it gets sizzling. Our sheet tray is ready to go. Take it out the oven, grab your cauliflower and just dump it straight onto it. That's the sound you want to hear, that sizzling. And then I like to just find all those pieces and flip them over real quick. Be careful though, don't burn yourself here. Once you got them on the sheet tray, just throw them back into the oven for about 20 to 25 more minutes until that is charged. Just keep an eye on it, but about 25 minutes should do the trick. After the cauliflower are done, at that point, the possibilities are endless. You can eat them right then and there and they'll be fantastic, but you can take these one step further and really take these over the top. You can do garlic parmesan, lemon pepper, but today we're gonna do an Aleppo butter and black pepper feta. Just trust me for a second. I had this at a restaurant not too long ago and for the entire dinner, the only thing I could think about was getting home and making this roasted cauliflower again. It was that good. It's simple, but I'm truly head over heels for this. I think that makes two weeks in a row where I'm recreating a dish from a restaurant. If you haven't seen the green chili video, check that out. But let's get started on this Aleppo butter. To a cold pan, we're gonna add butter, our Aleppo pepper, about two tablespoons of this. Aleppo pepper is like mildly spicy with a touch of sweetness. I like to think of it as the perfect mix between cayenne pepper and paprika. You can go to the store and find it for like 10 bucks for a small bottle, but I got a big bag on Amazon for like six bucks. If you can't find it, it is linked in my description below, but we do have a few more things we gotta add to this butter. A little bit of oil, just to stop the browning. A good pinch of salt, probably like a teaspoon max. And then some black pepper. And of course you can use salted butter, but I like to control how much oil I use in my recipes. Now just throw this on the stove top on medium low heat. The butter's gonna melt, that pepper's gonna toast up, get fragrant. And then once it's melted, just set it to the side. You can use cayenne pepper or paprika. I'm assuming, I haven't tried it, so don't quote me on that, but if you can't find the of pepper, then those would should work. Once those 25 minutes are up and you see you have some good color on it, I can already tell I got good color on it. And you just wanna dump all this into it. Let's see if you got good color. I'm almost confident we did, but you never know till you flip a piece over. Yeah, look at that good color. That's what we're looking for. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's some good color on that. I'm gonna dump everything into a bowl. Keep that oven on 450. Do not turn it off yet. Then on top of that cauliflower, we're gonna toss it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some of this black pepper feta, which is just feta cheese, black pepper mixed into it. Very simple. Rotate it, toss it up. Next, I'm gonna bring a mini cast iron. Y'all know me, I love my cast irons. If you have another small baking dish that works just fine, or a big one if you're doing like a large scale of it, and we're gonna dump half of it into it. Uh-oh, maybe there's only one layer of fit. Just like so. Go over the top of that with some of that black pepper feta. We're forgetting one thing, our Aleppo butter. I almost forgot about that. It's looking great, smells amazing. Go in there with that. Probably should have tossed it with that, but that's okay. We'll work backwards. Take it and then you can just toss it in here to be honest. I almost forgot something very, very important. This is gonna add just the perfect amount of spice, sweetness to it. It's just amazing. And then we can go on top of that with just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Take this, throw this in the oven five minutes till that cheese is melted and then we'll get ready to plate it. After three to five minutes when everything is looking lovely, just look at this y'all. 
Sheesh. Amazing, right? We're gonna add a few touches to really take this to the next level. Of course, we're gonna do just a nice little small sprinkle of cheese over the top of that to kind of give it that brightness, a little freshness too. A squeeze of lemon. This right here is magical. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. If you don't do anything else in this recipe extra, add this lemon. This lemon is like fireworks. You add this to it, it's gonna bring everything together, wake all those flavors up and really take this over the top. As soon as I started adding lemon to my dishes, my dishes were elevated 10X. Do this, trust me, I promise you this will make it the most addicting thing ever. I could just, there's a drizzle, just a little bit more of that Aleppo butter right on top of it. And then for a pop of color, of course, we're gonna go in there with just a little bit of chives. Just add all the chives that you think is gonna make it perfect. I'm gonna scoot your back and we gonna take a bite. We going home. Is it cheating to say I already know this is amazing? I've made it the last three weekends in a row just by itself. That's how addicting this is. But I'm man of the people. I'm gonna give y'all a taste test. I'm gonna give a reaction. Cheers to y'all. Hit the gym after this. You might not even need to because it's healthy. Cheers. Oh. It makes me shake my head. It's amazing. It hits the spot every single time. It's taking everything within me to only take one bite and come back to talk to y'all because that's how amazing this is. This is a 10 out of 10, especially for a side dish. And not many people eat cauliflower, I feel like, especially me, but for the past month, I've been eating so much cauliflower because this recipe is that good. Y'all know me, I'm not gonna overanalyze it. Try this for yourself and I promise on everything I love that you'll love this cauliflower. You have the same reaction that I'm having, feeling the same way that I'm feeling, and it's just pure awesome. There's no better feeling than this. But like always, guys, I appreciate all the love and support. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you wanna see next. What I could do different, y'all know the whole deal. Let's run it up. But I'll see y'all next week. Y'all know I got a banger. Peace. I'm not even gonna turn the cameras off. Like, I'm just gonna chat on eat. And if y'all wanna say in witnesses, then y'all can. This is so good. Like, I can't even really describe how great it is. The Parmesan, the black pepper, all that umami coming from that, the lemon juice really just amplifies it. The texture on the cauliflower, the Aleppo butter is fantastic. Yo, this is so crazy. If I could only eat vegetables for the rest of my life, it would be this. Like, this is how great it is. I could eat this every single day and be happy for the rest of my life. Oh my Lord. Like, I honestly wish I made more. I only made enough for one, but I wish I made more because it's that good. Good Lord. Like, I will lick this pan clean. That's how good this is. All right, y'all, I'll go home. That's for us some crazy stuff right there. See y'all then, peace.